I'm like this. Eh? <laughs> I'm like this one. So when I hear when I hear this, I'll be talking eh, for this video. Eh, I'm like, shock me. You, I just, I just weak. Eh, as I declare you say, eh, Peter Obido, eh, he don't vow say he go step down for this presidential race so, on one condition. <laughs> I go like it. I could watch the video. I could use now here. Here the condition we give him. Eh? And I could let me know for the comment section which other candidate or if any other candidate did this word, eh, we go talk this thing with Peter Obido. As now they watch him, they could make sure say they share him. So everybody go see him. We don't know why we don't decide to be very, very obedient. Oh, yeah, when I watch the video. Now, this is another case of go and verify by Peter Obi. For all those people who want him to step down, he has made it very easy for all of them. And according to him, he said that he received over half a trillion naira as a governor. And he will stop campaigning like he will step down. He will no longer contest for the presidency again. If you found out that one percent of that money was missing so you see why i said he made it very easy i'm gonna let you guys watch the video not two percent oh not even not ten percent ahead just one percent of that money he said go and make your research and if you found out that one percent of that money was missing he will step down he will stop campaigning and we no longer contest for the 2023 presidential election so very easy let's watch the video okay. what you need to stop is to stop the bleeding yeah. stop the thing in fact it is not that chasing people and i can't tell you are two hundred <laughs> my people and that is it for you all like i said before he made it very easier for those people that want him to step down how many of them campaigning today how many of them contesting can come out and make this bold statement at least uh, uh some of the all of them if i'm not mistakenly have served in the public office so how many of them can be bold enough to uh to say this or to challenge people with this kind of statement but you know what they say that clear conscience fears no accusation for all we know peter ob has proved beyond reasonable doubt that he is the best candidate uh for this presidential election among everybody that we've seen among all of them coming out for this particular election him he has proven 
beyond reasonable doubt that there's no other person that can do the job than him the truth of the matter is that i don't know how else a man can be transparent than this they are pushing this man too hard the new one they started now is wherever he is going uh they will send their agent to go and be asking him stupid questions but this man is a genius let's give it to him he is a genius all these people sending their agent to go ask him stupid questions they don't grant interview i, I mean why are other candidates not pushed to prove their innocent like this somebody like ahmed bolatinibu should come out and tell nigerians the source of his income because we the nigerian people we want to know because they are coming out to contest they want to lead us i'll be ahead so we also want to know them better because you cannot just come out the other day i was uh watching uh an interview on arise news and the man says something he said someone like atiku abubaka and ahmed bolatinibu you can clearly say that the money to campaign for election is not their problem but their problem is how to win the election but peter obi how is he going to get the money to campaign and the question i asked myself that very day was okay where did they get the money from if not stolen money if not the money they stole from nigeria so we also want to interact with them okay we also want to tell they should come out and tell us their source of in income and also ask us to go and verify and that settles it case closed we close this chapter and move to the next one but no they can never come out even if they are under duress they can't come out to say anything tangible because we know they live in lies and deceit they have committed so much atrocities in this nation they have stolen the national cake they have stolen what is meant for the whole nation one person pockets the whole nation and at the end of the day come outside to come tell us you're richer than the country they cannot boldly give you any good account of how they handled the position they have once occupied and they are coming to ask you to give them another one and if you want to talk now some people will come and tell you eh, Tinibu, when he was the governor of lagos state he did this he did that he let us even say that Tinibu did all of those things that you all are saying he did in lagos state let us even say the question is, is the same Tinibu not a member of the All Progressive Congress, the ruling party? Eh? So if he so did all of those things when he was the governor of Lagos State, then what happened to the party where he is the uh, national chairman? Ahmed Bola Tinibu is the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress. Why haven't he used the same ability he used in changing Lagos State to effect change in Nigeria? Okay, he is preserving it until when he becomes the president of Nigeria before he will do something. I beg, make una the wise. How long for now? Where is still they sleep? Make una wake up oh, and receive sense because if you don't wake up now, eh, maybe before you go wake up, they don't sell you and the country to Chinese people.